Space Rogue. That's right, it's tool time again. First up, list DLLs, handle, and process monitor from all from Sys Internals have all been updated. Maltego 3.0.3 was released. The new splash screen is pretty damn hot. And Saint, or Security Administrator's Network Tool, is now officially supported on the Mac. Black Hat DC has got a lot of folks in overdrive this week, and tools have been a part of the fallout from that. Microsoft, in particular, has released two tools. Attack Surface Analyzer is used to compare the state of your system before and after you install software. It will highlight what resources an application depends on and what changes it makes in addition to enumerating possible security issues. And Binscope Binary Analyzer is a Microsoft verification tool that analyzes binaries on a project-wide level to ensure that they have been built in compliance with Microsoft's security development lifecycle requirements and recommendations. Binscope is for .NET 2 and later. And on the non-Microsoft front, AutoDiff Online is an online service that performs automated binary differential analysis between two executable files. It was designed to diff PE files, so while it's not from Microsoft, it is limited to the portable executable format. Also, El Jefe is a Windows-based process monitoring solution from Immunity. El Jefe produces a unique view into how processes are created, what privileges they possess, and what child processes they spawn. All of this information is stored and categorized into a central logging server, which allows a user to quickly see any suspicious behavior that could indicate compromise or malware proliferation. Seems like there's been a focus lately on situational awareness. Good for you guys. We love to see tools that make securing your pool more user friendly. We also like to see tools that make busting into your pool more user friendly. And there are two of those worth mentioning this week. In Guma version 0.2 has been released. Inguma is a penetration testing toolkit written in Python. It includes modules to discover hosts, gather information, fuzz targets, brute 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 force usernames and passwords and launch exploits. This early release is light on the exploit side but provides a Python framework with a GUI and everything else is quite extensive. It's up at Google Code. Speaking of Python based pen testing frameworks, WAF is now better, stronger, faster. Including a 15% performance booth in scan speeds. No more SQL Lite either, but it's hosted at SourceForge. So uh, be careful, okay? Anybody know if they got their put together yet? That's it for this week's Tool Time. Join us next week for our salute to Tool Time.